All right, so we're going to be adding sound to our processing. This is a quick video on how to do that. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to share my screen with you. I'm going to go to bensound.com. I'm going to find a good sound that I like. And when I found one that I like, I can play them. You'll hear them coming up. Okay, and then I'm going to download. So I'm going to download using the black button. It's going to download onto my computer. Then I'm going to go over to processing. Here's my racer game, uh, which I do in level one. And I'm going to add in a few things. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to tools, add tool, tools, add tool. And then I'm going to add in a library. The library is called Minim, M-I-N-I-M, M-I-N-I-M. Mine's already installed, but you're going to click the install button and wait for it to download and install. When that's all finished, you're gonna close. We're going to add our file to our sketch. So sketch, add file, go find it on your computer. So mine is in my downloads. and I'm going to choose that. I'm actually going to choose the one I downloaded yesterday so it doesn't have the one behind it. Then I'm going to start adding some code. So the first piece of code has to be up in the variables. Add library, and I'll put minimum in the parentheses in quotes, and then I'm going to make a variable called player equal to none. So that's going to store the uh, thing, the object that's going to play our value. Then we're going to have uh, some code in our def setup. So I'm going to do global player to bring our player into setup. I'm going to have to load in minimum. So I'm going to say m equals minimum with a capital M this to send in my program. And then I'm going to say player. This is my thing that's going to play the mp3. And I'm going to load my file. I'm going to use the file name from what I had before. Ben sounds dash creative minds is mine. Dot mp3. Make sure you put the dot mp3 at the end. And then the last two lines, I have to add player to my globals in draw and do player dot play. And when I've got all that code in there, I'm going to push play. It'll probably take a minute or two to load because it's got to load in the sound. Um, but I'm really hoping that it will work. Um, and as long as you don't get any errors, there we go. So it's ready to go. All right, so hopefully that works for you. There's also a handout that's provided to you on this topic. All right, good luck.